Howdy. Today we will be taking a look at Funko Pop Unicron. This figure is a San Diego Comic Con and GameStop exclusive. We'll start off by taking a quick look at the box because, spoiler alert, this figure doesn't have an alternate mode since it's a Funko Pop. However, in terms of design, I think this box looks really good. I especially appreciate the Generation 1 style toy art that they featured on the top of the backside. As you can see, they also sell other pops of Transformers figures. I personally am not a pop collector, so I don't really know about them that much. However, I also appreciate the grid lines that they include, also indicative of the Generation 1 style toy boxes. So, without further ado, let's get this figure opened up and take a look at it. In his, uh, Funko Pop mode, Unicron looks pretty good. Now, as some people might be able to notice, this figure is actually based on the HasLab Unicron. There are some minute details that we will take a look at later. However, this figure is big. It is specifically 10 inches tall, as the jumbo-sized Pop series tends to be. And, you know, I think it looks pretty good. I really like the colors that they used on this figure, and they put a lot of detail into it, especially for the size, I'm glad that they did. I especially like that they painted the lower teeth on his jaw. If you know, you know. Actually, specifically about this color choice, these are the colors that are much more accurate to the original colors chosen for the HasLab Unicron. Anyone who actually bought one knows that the figure did not ship with the exact same colors that they used on the original model they displayed. Let's take a quick look at some of the details that they featured from the HasLab figure. One of the easiest ways to tell that this figure is based on the HasLab design is the torso. There are two small semicircles underneath the silver sections which are on the HasLab but not on the original animation model. Also something not on the original animation model is the eight ab sections as opposed to six. One of the most intriguing details they included on this figure from the HasLab is the seeming leg kibble, which is strange because the legs aren't that big on the animation model. And, you know, as someone who has the has, I, I mean, uh, as someone who found this picture online of the HasLab Unicron, it's kind of strange. I mean, I don't have HasLab Unicron. I'd have to be crazy. Here's how Funko Unicron scales with Deluxe Class Deep Cover, Voyager Class Sweep, and Leader Class Grimlock. And here is the Chaos Bringer himself with his minions, and I think they look pretty good. For someone who needs a small scale collection but still wants to get this sort of look, I think this would be a great display option for folks who can't afford the room for the HasLab Unicron or can't afford HasLab Unicron. I hope you've enjoyed this brief look at Funko Pop Unicron. If there are any other figures you'd like me to take a look at next, leave a comment down below. And as always, I'm Leo, reminding you that plastic toys don't belong in plastic prisons. See you next time.